My name is Helen Gutierrez. I'm 17 years old and I'm from Fairfax, Virginia. I am a senior at Statesboro High School. I am the daughter of Giancarlo and Michelle Gutierrez and I have an older sister named Isabella and a little sister named Viviana who also attends SHS. I would say the best thing about being a student at Statesboro High is the diversity you are exposed to and the amount of opportunities you are given um, when attending. The amount of classes that are given um, is amazing and the diversity of people that you are introduced to really prepares you for college. The course of study I really enjoy are any of my science classes. Um, I kind of grew up in a science family, you could say. Both my parents are chiropractors. Um, chemistry was definitely one of my favorite classes with uh, Miss Thompson teaching, even though it got cut short due to COVID. Um, and then I would say my favorite science class is anatomy right now, just because it comes so easily to me. I want to major in health sciences, and the plan right now is dermatology. Um, but if that doesn't work out, maybe a dental pathway or orthodontistry. I am in National Honor Society, Beta Club, and I was in Youth Leadership Bullock my junior year of high school. Um, my freshman year of high school, I was on math team at Bullock Academy. I would say my most favorite club is National Honor Society. Just from the six months that I've been a member, um, I've really become a part of this community that I didn't know there was a part of and it's really opened up my eyes to how many opportunities there are that you can help out um, and just greeting people and seeing smiles on their faces is the best part. So here at Statesboro High I play soccer and I only played my sophomore year um, and I was planning on playing my junior and senior year but unfortunately I tore my ACL my junior year um, and then that takes a year to recover and then I got back and then I tore my other ACL and <laughs> lateral meniscus um, my senior year which is why I will not be playing sadly um, which will take another year uh, but I have been playing soccer since I was two years old so 15 years and I have not grown tired to it at all. So I'm very thankful for that. Um, and the sophomore year I played, I was so excited just because from the fact that I would be playing with my friends and I not only was playing with them, but I was also increasing their soccer IQ, which I found very beneficial. Um, and I'm just sad that I won't be able to play this year, um, but it'll be okay. <laughs> I am actually on a full athletic scholarship to Furman University to play for their women's soccer team and I'm super excited because I'll get to play one year with my older sister. Um, but with COVID, my scholarship was altered because the funds were taken away and so I'm on full academic scholarship now. I am not nervous at all to go out of state. Through soccer I have been to 13 different states and two other, three other countries playing internationally so travel's not really that big of a scare for me. Um, the transition will definitely help since my older sister will be there and I've been going to the campus since I was in 10th grade. My older sister also has a, another year of eligibility if she decides to stay, but there's also a whole other factors that go. But of course I want her to stay so we can play two more years together, but. <laughs> My role model, role models that come to mind would definitely be my older sister. Um, she has started her, freshman year through junior year now, all games, and the amount of work she has to put in to the sport itself along with the challenging classes at Furman is amazing how she um, schedules it all and really amazing to find that she has time for her social life, soccer, and then academics. Um, I hope that it's that easy for me <laughs> and that she'll maybe give me advice on how I can sort through because it will be a lot different. 
just her faith alone um, has made it a lot easier and that's one thing that I really am proud of her for because um, when things do get tough when say money is a problem um, she turns to her faith and I hope that I am like that if that ever becomes a problem um, my other role model would definitely be my grandfather who is from Peru and he immigrated here to go to Harvard Medical School and he graduated with flying colors and um, got his citizenship and married my grandma and it's just amaz an amazing story that I look up to. Well, I call him No-No, but it is um, Antonio Gutierrez. I will miss my friends um, knowing that most of them will be going to UGA or Georgia Southern. Um, well, they'll be together, but I'll be off at a little tiny school in South Carolina. Um, I'm excited and I think it's good, but also not being able to see them every day and everything like that, um, it's going to be sad. But I will also miss my teachers. Um, they've really helped me and just small things like walking into the classroom and saying, hey Crosby or hey Miss Thompson, you know. Um, I won't be able to do that in college <laughs> and I'll definitely miss being close to them. I could give some advice to the underclassmen would be not to slack. <laughs> um, those grades will really get you if you don't pick it up. Um, I think that you should follow your interests. There's so many opportunities given here at Statesboro High and you can change them if you want. It, really does not matter um, and I would say to push through. I know it can be stressful but it's all worth it in the end.